Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Have you found it challenging to create a realistic bed sketch? Do you dream of an effortless approach to elevate the realism in your sketches? Then you are in the right place because in today's step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to guide you through every brush, methods and my thought process behind sketching this bed. So without further ado, let's get started. It becomes very important for us to set up a color palette before we start a sketch because it avoids the time that we take to try out different color combinations while we are sketching. So you can find very aesthetically pleasing and very good vibrant color combinations on Pinterest. So let's start the drill. So as usual I've started a new layer and chosen the selection toolbar with a freehand selection tool and I am selecting only around the main bed sheet area and selecting the color from the color palette and color dropping it into the selected part and we are going to repeat the same process for the quilt and for basically every other object in this sketch make sure to create a new layer every time you start to select a different part of the sketch so that it will be well organized for you to later alpha lock it and add the effects accordingly. So I have repeated the same process for all the other elements. So you will see that I have created in different layers and I'm switching it on to show it to you. Assuming the light from the other side, let's create the shadows. So now I'm taking the flat brush pen and the darker version of the color of that layer and creating the shadow effect. Light and shadow effects really elevates the sketch to the next level. So keep selecting the darker versions of the same color and repeat the same process on one side and make it light on the other side. Right application of pressure on the pen also plays a very huge role on creating a sketch. You need to handle the pen just like how you would handle a pencil while you're shading. Right now you can see if I put more pressure it becomes really really dark. So you can see the difference here when I put light pressure and then the dark pressure. So always remember to Handle the pen like you would handle a pencil while you're shading any object on a paper. We also need to remember that the object is bent in an L shape so when the light falls we need to make sure to shade the shadows according to that of its shape. So you will see that I am making the front face a bit more darker than the upper face. Now it's time that we pay attention to the details of the object. I have decreased the size of the flat brush pen and I am highlighting the full lines of this object. So the more darker we shade and more we define the object, the more realistic it will start to look. Oh. 
As you can see I have been using the soft brush tool, I have reduced the size of the brush drastically and I have been defining the edges of the object, I am making it more darker whereas I am making a, those slight creases or folds as you can see on the bed sheet so that it can give you a more natural look to it. It's all these little details that matters that can finally give out an awesome output. So as you can see I'm continuing the same process on the duvet as well. Just use the soft brush tool and keep repeating the process again and again. On the corners make it slightly darker whereas in the middle if you want to create those small folds may reduce the opacity of the same color and do repeat the process again and it is very simple. It might be a bit intimidating for you in the beginning but then as you keep doing it as you keep practicing it it becomes very easy and you'll start to enjoy the process and keep layering I have told this in my previous video as well the more layers you add the more realistic and more defined the object becomes so remember that and keep proceeding and keep continuing with your work Now I have started with shading the pillows and I have decided to go with muted colors like light grays and whites because the surrounding objects have very contrasting and vibrant colors to it and I am creating the same um, making one side darker and the other side lighter because of the light and shadow and uh, giving it an elevated feel from the bed. And also guys you would have realized that I have fast forwarded a lot of process in this video. It's only because I wanted to make my video short but at the same time give you a lot of valuable information. But if at all you are drawing along with this video please feel free to pause it wherever required and take your own sweet time and enjoy the process. The final step is to make a button tufted headboard to this bed. So I'm choosing the Narendra pencil and I'm creating these spots first. For the headboard I have decided to give a fabric texture hence I chose the seed um, brush from Tati Works fabric brush set that I downloaded from the Procreate website for free online also guys if the links in the description are not clickable please copy paste it so here with the seed brush i am trying to create the fabric headboard and also i'm using combinations of dark and lighter shades of the same color to create that embossed effect as you can see. After highlighting these dots with the Narendra pencil, I have taken the soft brush tool and chosen the darker shade of the same color and 
uh, shading around these dots to give the tucked effect as you would find in any button tufted sofas or headboards after repeating the same process over all the dots i have chosen the soft brush pen and i have created an x kind of an effect over these dots and smudging it with a smudge tool to define the tufted effect of this headboard it's making it look more accurate and defined after we are done with all the steps and giving it few final touches this is what we have created today what do you think about this you guys so just let me know in the comment section down below and also do let me know if you need any other tutorials and i will come up with it in my following videos and please like share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more videos like this see you in my next video until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress